We are here at Fiat Austin celebrating girl power with Austin Woman Magazine at the Pink Pages party. I am standing with the executive editor of Austin Woman Magazine, Mary Ann Conley. Mary Ann, how are you doing tonight? Doing great. We're thrilled to be here. This is very exciting. It's the first time I've actually seen the new Fiat space, which is just barely open. So Marianne, tell me, tell me about the Pink Pages, what it is, and you know, why are you so excited about it? Well, Pink Pages is a women, uh, basically women-focused business directory, women-owned businesses, women serving women throughout Austin. But also, you know, there are men in there, but it's basically women-focused, and we've done it for six years now. So Melinda, tell me, how did you come up with this brainchild that is Austin Woman Magazine? Oh my gosh, well, if you wanted me to be honest, it was I was out with girlfriends one night drinking way too much wine. And you know what happens when girls are out drinking way you too much like wine. Kind of lady. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes an idea is born and there are women's magazines were popping up all over the country and there was no one in Austin that was talking about women. You know, it was kind of during the tech boom and everything was men, 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 and we really needed to be able to celebrate all these incredible women in Austin. You've had a crazy successful year. You, you know, you're kicking it off. You're on the cover of a magazine, Austin Woman Magazine. You're the general manager of Fiat Austin, opening this great dealership up. How do you feel about being at the Pink Pages party and the turnout? Well, we're just really excited about everybody that would come out and they would honor Fiat of Austin and they would honor the Pink Pages and just to see women come together because our whole, the whole uh, business model behind Fiat is to revolutionize the car buying process, to make it more of an event or an experience than coming in and you know, haggling and negotiating for a car, but actually making it an experience and something that women and millennials and that people want to do, that it's fun. It's fun to come pick out and design your car. What advice do you have for ladies out there who are trying to break into the, car, the very male-dominated car industry? Yes. What advice do you have for them? I'll tell you, it's a tough industry. I won't, I won't kid you. And, and I had to get out for a while when my kids were young because I couldn't work the hours. And so with us and some of the other organizations in town, I know that we're trying to make a better, more kid-friendly, more woman-friendly, maybe job sharing and doing some things because women women bring transparency to an organization. Women end up being the best salespeople. Women women have heart and they've got passion. And that's what we're looking for. So we're going to, at least at the Nile Maxwell organization, we're going to look to try to work around and be flexible with scheduling so that we can bring some moms and some women back into the workplace for the automotive industry.